Hi. Guys, you ho I hope you are able to listen my voice.
Uh, today, as per the plan, we are going to uh, create application structure in CQ and website structure and website in CQ. Okay? We will be going to create both. Is the application structure and web structure are both different? Yes, they are both different. First, we need to develop application in CQ. That application contains templates components of kind page rendering components and content components, scripts and OHA bundles. These are the things an application contains. Based on the application scripts, you will create a website structure. We develop the application in CRXD. This is the CRXD console. Sorry, I have stopped my server. My server is not up. Let me start my server. Hope you all guys have a server installed in your system. If not, please install it today and start practicing. As we have started, already CQ application development structure. I'm double clicking this file to start the server. Now the server getting started in purely GUI mode, graphical user interface mode. And the graphical widget or window is showing the status of the server startup process. The server startup process you are able to see now I think. Once the server is up, yeah, it's done almost. Yeah, server is up. With the previous session, it has logged in automatically. Otherwise, you need to provide admin as a username, admin as a password to log in. This is the console where you develop your app structure. This is a CRXD content repository extreme development environment light. Already I have said you guys that why it is light, why it is called as a light. Under this apps we create the app structure, application structure. Based on this application that is templates and script files, we create the website structure. Where we create basically website structure and the site admin. We call this as a site structure or website structure. Both can be considered. Before creating our application structure, means our application and our website, first let me introduce how to create a page in CQ. As we have discussed, we have a demo site which is provided from the Adobe for your demo purpose. I selected the demo site in that there are different language sections. This demo site has been developed in different languages. Around seven languages it has been developed. Means the site is supporting I18N means site is developed on internationalization basis. I'm selecting the English language site structure. Under that I'm selecting a toolbar. If you observe my navigation path is content slash geometrics demo site slash English language slash toolbar. Under the toolbar, I want to create 
a web page. Select the new drop down. Here you have an option to create new page. Select that new page. Clearly observe guys. New new page here. Give the title as my test page. Name as my test. I'm separating words with hyphen page. In the window, drop down is shown means there are the container with a few elements means few items before creating CQ is providing an option to you with a few items means few option these we call it as a template templates this we call it as a templates I'm selecting this geometric content page template to create my page under toolbar I selected this one not this one or not this one just selected this one the one which you selected that will be highlighted the hash color create your page as in when you create a page in a site structure you are able to see your page with the title in the left side my test page here also you are able to see your page if you observe here what the template you are able to see in the column with respect to the ninth row that is newly created pages geometrics content page this is how you create a page in a CQ by using a template who has to develop the template where the template is available as a developer you are the responsible to create the template that template is being created under the app structure you are the responsible for creating all that structure so you must have a template before creating a web page so we created a page successfully to open this page you can double click or else right click open I am opening this page in a As and when I opened, the page is opened in a new window, a new tab with the editor.html is being added. As I said, this is a 6.1 server. If you open page in your server, it will come up with a CF hash symbol. We will see what is CF hash in detail. Already explained, but I'll explain you later in detail. Still, what it is. Now, this is my page. I created my page with the geometrics content page template by using the template I created it. This is your page title. Later on if you want you can edit it. This we call it as a sidekick. This is floating palette. Or a sidekick. Well, we call it as a sidekick. Where all the components and everything will sit. This is the template. By default, you are getting header, footer, and logo of your site. And footer of your site. This is the footer section, right? The downwards always will place the footers for a site. This is the footer and this is header. In the header you are getting top header. This is the top header where sign in, sign up and contact this stuff is there. This is the navigation bar. 
see have you put any effort in creating all this just one time you created a template just use template here the existing template we use it that's it we have not uh, created any new thing here means when you create a template you can reuse the template a number of times by seeing this image itself you can come to a conclusion that template is a blueprint like java class once you develop a java class you can create a number of objects of that java class in your project or else in your application now what the class is there it is a blueprint just develop the class one time and create the objects a number of objects for it for example student class in object oriented technology you have a student class so for that student class we have created a properties like student name student role number and student address once you develop a class in java or any object oriented technology by using that class you can create a number of student objects for it likewise here template 2 performs the same task once you develop a template based on the template you can create a number of objects so this is coming from default template that is geometric content page so you are the responsible for creating this template so just i used the template and i have created my page so once you create a page you can drag your components whichever you want and you can add whatever the content you want to this page let me open again i'm not getting the site it properly Sometimes the sidekick makes a lot of problems. Even it won't let. This is existing issues in CQ. Yes. Um. Do you want some text component or something else? Oh, shut up! This idea is not. I don't understand why it is. Just a second. Hold on for a second. Uh, just I created the template by using. Sorry, I created a page by using the existing template. So the template provides a default structure for you. As and when you create a page by using the existing template, you will get the template. provided script on top of that if you want to edit any content of the site you can 
And these are all the predefined existing out of the box components, OOTB components. Already I introduced the term OOTB, out of the box. Just drag your component, place it here, edit it, whichever you want, and modify the content of the page however you like. Some text, I am editing the text component. That's the reason copy that some text. Valid text I am copying. You can give any junk. That's valid I am copying. Just now I started authoring my page. We call authoring. This aspect, editing of the page, we call it as an authoring. See, these are all the things. Just I have doubted one time the template. Inside a template, I include it. And I created a page using the template. Just I am modifying the body of the page, that's it. Body of the page is dynamic, but not all the page. This is how, this is what the advantage of the template. Now, I have given you the overview. Before creating a page, what you need? Before creating a page, what you need? A lot of attendees are there, just can anyone tell me? Just now explain you, right? Before creating a page, what I need? I created this page here. The test page I created. So what I need before creating a page in a website? Can someone? Just now I explained what we need to create a page. It's silly, really. I don't know where you guys are listening. To create a page, we need a template right here. Just I used the template. Geometrics content template. I have not asked the questions from yesterday's session and day before yesterday's session. Definitely I last today. Uh, I won't raise a uh, question uh, in a group manner. I'll pick uh, individual, otherwise you won't respond, I know that. Definitely I last. It's my normal uh, naturality that asking the questions in every session. Definitely I last today. At the end of the session I last, don't worry. Yeah, to create a page, we need a template. In meanwhile, also now also, I'll start asking the questions in the current topics only. Yeah, correct, Grace. You are correct. But it should be earlier. The answer should be earlier, right? Yeah, you must need a template to create a page. Where you create a template, definitely that will that will be in a application development. 
So to create a website structure inside admin, before creating a site structure, you are using templates. At the end of the template, that few scripts would definitely run. So to create a website, what you need basically, you need application structure. That is CQ application. Yes, of course, template. That is correct. And you can draw the template where it sits in the application. The template sits in a application. Where we develop the application structure? We develop the application structure in CRXD, Content Repository Extreme Development Light. Already I said why it is light. Definitely I'll ask this question today only. Why this is light? Uh, let me draw a simple diagram which will depict you that uh, simple CQ entire application structure. Website structure. Whatever it is, the CQ, but we have to ultimately or finally create the website. Website development goes. The website is nothing but collection of pages. Then how you create a page? Answer is based on based on template. And the immediate question: What is template? Template is a blueprint for creating the page. Where you create a template, under CQ application structure. Where you create your application structure? Under apps. Apps. Apps is where you have to go to CRX slash V slash next dot JSP. This is the console where you navigate and where you create your application structure. Where you create a website structure? On the site admin. So, we are planning to create one application. Means one website. Simply we are planning to create one website. To create a website, where you, where you can create a website? This is the location where you can create your website. To create a website, I need a template, right? Yes, of course, I need a template. I don't have any template in my hand. To create a template, what I need? I need CQ template. Yes, yeah, sure, you can.
you can write it down. These things because we will develop in further sessions. Template is a collection of script files. Yeah. Hope you all have done, taken this. Just one more 10 seconds, few more 10 seconds I'm holding the screen. Just note it down. Where you create a website structure under site admin. What is website first? It's a collection of pages, obviously. Any website, not only CQ website, any website you can take it. That definitely a collection of pages. How you create a page? Now come to the CQ. We create a page using a template. What is a template then? Template is a blueprint for creating a page. It's a reusable component, reusable item. By using that item, you can create n number of pages. For example, we created one page using Geometrics Content Template. Just I developed Geometrics Content Template one time. That content template has a one time. But I am creating 10, 20, 30, 40, 100, so and so. A number of pages I can create using the template. Is it reusable or not? Absolutely, it is, it's a reusable, term, a reusable item. What is template in the back end? Template obviously points to components. Means a collection of script files. Those scripts are nothing but JSPs, JS, servlets, and services. As someone said in the session, uh, Nicandro or Grace or someone told that script files. That is JSP. Absolutely it's a JSP in the backend. It points to, a template points to a JSP or JS or some script files, whatever it is, either servlets or services, whatever it is. Correct. You are correct. Yeah. Now, you came to know somehow what is a template and why we need a template where we created templates. This is the CQ structure, means CRXD structure was. Select the apps. Under the apps only we create our application. Now you're able to see, I zoomed a little bit my screen. Still I zoomed. Under the apps only you create your application structure. I already explained, I think, all these folders. Apps is application, CQ application, where you create your CQ applications. Bin. Mostly in any server, you will, most of the servers you will find the bin folder. Bin folder contains all the compiled script files. That script files are nothing but Java, and JSP script files. Means Java compiled class files and JSP compiled class files. We'll see it. This bin. You will not be able to see the bin files. Content. Very important thing. Whichever the site structure you create here will come and will sit under the content folder. For example, Geometrics demo site. Here you will find, under the content, you will find that this is the Geometrics demo site. You may ask the question, here is Geometrics and here is Geometrics demo site. What is the difference? I will tell you. Select your website folder. Now see here, Geometrics demo site. Title is separated with the spaces and camel letters, that's caps. And name is small letters, no spaces. In CRXD you find application with a name, in site admin you will find with a title. If you cleanly, clearly observe here you are able to see title. If you go in detail to the parent folder, here I am able to find all the childs. Among those child geometrics is one. So here is geometrics is name. Here also you can see geometrics is a name. If you want, under JSR content, you can find the title of any node. What is the title of that? JSR column title is geometrics demo site. Now 
see the content contains the web structure whichever the things you create it will store under the content folder what is ECT sorry ETC ETC is nothing but the things whichever you create under the tools mostly will sit under the ETC guys remember that I'm come back coming back to the previous point that is content under the content not only the things which you create from the website structure also the things which you create from campaigns as well will sit here just example I have shown under campaigns whichever you create here it will sit under the campaigns and also under the dam digital asset management whichever you create under dam also will sit under the content only see for example you are able to see right for example under the media under the articles let's say one image some AI dot JPEG what is we selected geometrics media under geometrics media under particles AI dot JPEG so the content folder contains the things whichever you create under website structure under campaigns under digital assets will sit under the content the CTC contains the things which I will create under tools apart from tools and tags also will sit apart from these tags also the workflows which you create from the workflow console also will sit hope the guys already have shown the workflow console where we create workflows this is the workflow console the things whichever you create under the workflow console absolutely it manages under a separate folders under ETC you are able to see the workflows folder right the things whichever you create under workflows under tools console those all the things will sit under the ATC home the home is for absolutely user management it's very important and secure you should not touch this home and under its folders and its chains user information and permissions of users this is admin user and preferences profiles and profiles and policies of user all these things very secure information will be stored here mostly admin only will have access to this and for the users definitely admin will restrict this permission to this folder anyway we will see creating users and restricting permissions to the users and libs libs is a folder all CQs out of the box or else inbuilt functionalities which are provided this is very vast and very important we'll see few things from the lips as I said out of the box OOTB all the OOTB components and OOTB functionality will sit under the labs and O column index indexing structure of the JCR repository and repository policies this node is we won't touch all these things these are the repository configuration setups if we modify the entire repository will affect as I explain repository repeating these are all the repeating things I'm not sure whether you remember or not repository is a
collection of workspaces. Already I told you this one. Collection of sorry, collection of workspaces. What is workspace? Collection of nodes. What is a node? Node is nothing but collection of properties. What is property? Collection of key value pairs. Perfect. You are perfect. You are correct. Collection of key value pairs. You can do. You are correct. This is where the actual data in a repository will be stored. For example, let's say, for example, select. Uh, we'll see that later. Yeah, selected a node. Node is a collection of properties. Property. This is one property. This is one. What is a pro property object? This is one property object. What is this property? This is one node. JSR column content is one node. This is property. These are all the properties. How many properties are there? Twelve properties. Each property is a key value pair. This is the key. For example, sling column resource type is a key, and value is this one. Geometric slash component slash mobile content page. This is the value. And type of the key is string. This is data type of the key. If you touch the repository, sorry, if you touch this default or repository specific or configuration specific nodes, your entire repository will affect. If the repository is affecting, obviously your workspaces will affect. What is the workspace here we logged in? That is default CRX dot default. So your workspace is affecting in the sense your collection of nodes will affect. If nodes is affected, properties. Properties affected then key value pairs means your entire data structure will affect. So don't touch this out of the box nodes and system. System specific policies, the name itself is telling sling specific things. We'll see what is sling and how we work with the sling. Also, we'll see. We'll work in a next session. Temporary. This is a temporary workspace area which is used by the repository workspaces. This is a space, temporary phase, a space, junk space, and where. This is where you are all compiled JavaScript and temporary files while uh, working, for example, JS is loaded or else your JSP is compiled. All your uh, that work uh, that compiled files and temporary files will be placed here. You can delete few things. For example, we we'll see in light uh, you may face a uh, few issues uh, with this where only. I'll, I'll give you one example. You have downloaded one training application and you have rolled it to the live. In certain cases, uh, cases you face a problem that even though you modified a JavaScript or Java, a JSP file in the backend, still you get the result with a bold file only. Sometimes CQ picks the classes from here only. The old compiled files only it will pick. The binary files it will pick from the old files. See apps. See all the compiled files will be placed here. If you remove from here for example you are assuming that you are getting the old output from Geometrics Outdoor application even though if you modify certain scripts inside a geometrics outdoor you are getting still old output even though things are updated so you can delete from the where 
your corresponding application or file. So automatically it creates, means it access from the repository with a new modification, with a new file. It renders response from the new file. That's what the issues we get it. So check the where file as well, where folder as well. And delete the uh, class file, compile class files or script files. So automatically CQ renders the new output with updated JSP or JavaScript files. These are all the folder structure. This is the folder structure in CQ. This is the apps folder where you create your application structure. CQ has a specific application structure, guys. Just see the application structure. Apps. Apps contains application name that is my training application. My training application again will have child folders. Those are one is components, templates, SRC, install, so again this template, uh, this components this is the components. Very important. This only the structure I'll be going to create. Components. SRC. Install. Templates. Templates. This is the style structure. This is this is where you create your templates. Under this folder, we create our templates. Again, this components folder, this components folder, again will have subfolders. This is not mandatory to create subfolders under components to manage components. It is for our convenience we create, means we segregate or categorize this components folder into two. That is one is page, just draw this very important. One is page folder, another one is content folder. Means we are dividing again components into two types. Those two types are page components and content components. This is the components folders where we create our components specific to our requirements. This is the SRC. This is where source files sit, means Java source files. If you need anything, so you can place them install. Means the folder where your application specific installation happens, that Java bundle installation happens. When we create a Java bundles, when we deploy that structure, the Java bundles in CQ will see how the bundles will sit under this installation folder. As of now, just we'll create the folder. In the ending sessions, we'll see. We'll work with this installation folder as well. This is the templates where you create your templates. Now I'm starting creating a application structure in CQ. Please concentrate. Create a folder with training application folder. Training application with the name training application. How it is? Just observe it. Select the folder. Either right click here or else. Select the folder, apps folder or else 
on top bar also you have options just create folder you can use anything either from here or here here also the same options you will get this all rename move copy paste blah 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 just mouse over don't select anything here automatically you will get the options just right click apps just mouse over and mouse over only you got here again here come to here and now here select the folder create folder just remember this is the way how you create your folder create folder the folder is my application my training application click on ok now just you created but this thing is not saved to repository here you are able to see the red color pointers means this data is not yet been saved here it is created but still this is in your browser crxde not in CQ repository under CRX dot default. For that you have to click save all. Save all. Then only things will be saved. See. Your folder is saved. What is the type of the node I created? As I said, everything in CQ is a node in JCR repository. The primary type is empty colon folder. This is a plain folder. I mean to say plain folder means any specific CQ folders are there. Yes, there are. Sling colon folder. CQ colon folder. There are different node types are there. We'll see them later. Now this is plain folder and select your application your application is empty it doesn't have any child nodes as I said as per our architecture again we have to create few more folders under our application under this my training application structure create those few more folders select this folder which is under apps see this is the path of your application app slash my training application right click just mouse over we will get option to create folder now components click ok you can have you can click on save all option or else control plus yes both will work control plus s or save all Again, we have to create SRC folder under our application. Select our application, not the components. Select our application, right click, create a folder, SRC, save it. Same like under application, create one more folder that is install. saved again under my training application last folder that is templates save it created refresh it to get the latest things from the repository right click you will get option for refresh or else select any node which you want to refresh here you have a refresh option refresh from the repository means all of your things are stored in repository successfully on click of save all, all of your things will be created means stored in the repository under the components again as I said we need to create two more folders that is page save all, control s, I used, create one more folder, 
components, sorry, content, page and content, save all. Now our application structure, the creation of our application structure is over. Yes. Shall we have a break for uh, five minutes? Because session today will not be for one hour. I'll extend it for nearly two hours because today I want to complete much and also already I discussed I think yesterday. Shall we have a break for, for two minutes? That's it. Just guys, you can get relief. After two minutes, we'll continue for next a few more 50 minutes or one hour. Thank you.
Guys, you are ready? Are you? Good about the rest of people are available. Once you all are available, just ping. Others are waiting for you. Okay. Now we will create the template. We have created successfully a page structure, a site structure. Now we will create a template. First, Assume that um, first I'm planning to create a page. Page. To create a page, to create a page, what we need, as we discussed, we need a template. We need a template. Page is based on template. Tem pages, page cannot exist without template. Template is, as per the CQ, it's a blueprint. It contains nothing. It contains nothing. Template is a blueprint. It contains nothing, no functionality or else no script files. Template in, is based on page rendering component. So simply it is based on some component. Template is based on some component. That is or else simply component that is page page rendering component. So before creating a page you need a template. Before a template what you need? A component of type page rendering component. For that first we will create a component that is of type page rendering component under page. Right click, create under the create folder, go down. Hope you're able to see create component. Select that. Now I am creating component. The label I will be giving as my training home page. Do not give the spaces for the label. Always remember for the title you can give. My training homepage. Title you can give space. For the label, please do not give the spaces because it will lead to your problems when you include a scripts in other components. Description is, you can give whatever it is. Super type. As I said, 
just here yeah, Java content repository supports inheritance as well means it is asking here do you want to extend any super type component do you want to no as of now we are not going to extend or inherit any super component into our component I am leaving as blank you can group give training application as a group name I will tell in detail what is group here remember the things whichever you give here will appear in sidekick next is a container component no do you want to provide any decoration no cell name do you want to provide any cell name no I'm not going to provide any cell name dialog path do you want to use any existing dialog from the CQ no I don't want to use any dialog if I want I'll create the dialog on my own I don't want to use any dialog which is provided from CQ so you can click the next we'll see creation of dialogs all those things in later sessions when we create a content components we'll see boss we are creating component of type page rendering component allow parents any parents do you want to allow to be executed no I don't want to allow any parents to add or else if you want to add just you can add it here yeah. multiple parents that's the reason plural parents not parent just remove them I don't want anything children any allowed children means do you want any specific children if it wants to extend this component no I don't want to specify any specific children if any children wants to extend it can extend no restriction click OK as I said if you create anything in the repository that is CRXD light click on save all don't forget otherwise you will lose your changes you are the responsible for saving that's it saved see here your component is being created with a my training home page label and see component group you have given all these values so these are our, our custom values we provide it just expand it without your script file by default when you create a component or else if you create a component CQ creates default script files that is .jsp with a, your component name it will not include anything in your component just your component title and description it writes and it includes one file that is global.jsp and whether session is available or not in this as a as you people are aware about JSP definitely you might aware the session equals to false session equals to false parameter or else this uh, variable makes that session will not be available in this page that is server JSP session remember server JSP session by default CQ generates this must script in your default JSP file which is provided or which is created by the CQ here if you want to add any of your custom script you can add this is the file where you can add your custom script now let it be like this my page rendering component creation is over Now what I need to create template which points to component. Let me create a template. 
where we have to create our template here just now I created this component if you remember observe that I selected this component recently created component that is my training home page component I'm copying the path of the component from the address bar of CRXD light <coughs> copy it hold this copy for some time till the time you create your template select the templates folder right click create here is option for create template label you can give label as my training application template title as training application template description as this is my my first template some xxx description now this is the part is very important resource type as I said template is a blueprint it does not have or it doesn't contain any script file so it points to some script file it points to some script file means it targets in back in both ways it target to some script file that is the target file now in the resource type the CQ is asking to which component to be executed when this template is used. Boss execute this component. I copied the path, I pasted here. You able to see this is component recently I created apps, my training application, components, page under the page, my training home page, which I recently created under the page folder. I'm guiding CQ that whenever this template is executed, point to the backend script that this component is component path I have provided here. And this ranking here is very important. While creating a page here under a website structure, go to website, click on website structure. go to geometrics outdoor or something when you select that create new page or else here only one template is there or else go to geometrics demo site and a toolbar you are trying to create a page when you are trying to create a page you are getting multiple templates more than one template you are getting around six templates are here so here CQ is asking that your template should sit at the top or middle or at the end means the rank at which rank you want your template to be placed at the first rank or second rank or third rank or fourth rank sequence so I am suggesting CQ place it my template in the first rank means when you try to create a page automatically you will get in first rank only first you will get here top you will get your template let's see now next allowed paths yes this allowed paths is nothing but where your template should be visible means this geometrics content page template is visible under toolbar if you go here under website the template is not visible right 
means they are restricting where your template should be visible. You can restrict your template visibility with giving here regular expression pattern. My template can be visible under content This is the regular pattern you can use. Under the content folder, my template can be visible anywhere. This is the content. If you point, means if you select website, root folder, you are under content. Under content anywhere, my template can be visible. Means under content, under web assets, under geometrics media, or any other location. Any other location, your template can be visible. We'll see. By changing this path also, we will see how it will affect the template visibility. Allowed parents are nothing. I don't have any allowed parents. Means restricted parents. Allowed children also nothing. Means this template is not specific for any children. It can be extended by any template. Means I am leaving my template to the global. Click OK. Save. my template has been created successfully if you observe under the page page folder we created one page rendering component it is having actual script the actual code will be executed and i created one template if you observe allowed paths description of your template jsr title ranking blah 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 Go to JSR content. This is the node where the actual content of every node will sit. JSR colon content. The name itself is telling. This node is created by CQ. Don't forget, we have not created all this. This node is created by CQ. This node is containing the structure. This here, sling colon resource type very important property very important property this is where the template is pointing to which component to be executed when a page created based on this template okay now we created our template and our template is pointing to one page rendering component that is my training homepage now let's say test your template is available or not. Go to root, that is content, create page, see, my training application template is available. But it is sitting in a second rank. Why it is so? I have given first right. That must sit in a first position, right? Because while creating this template also, the developer might have given one for this template. If two templates is having same rank, the first and first first come first come first serve basis, the first initially created one will sit in the top, and recently created will sit in the bottom. If two templates having same rank, this is how the things will go. If you have confusion. Just home page template project. Just check the template is having which rank. I know the template is here only sitting. See the ranking is one for the template. So both are having same rank. That's the reason. First come first serve basis. The first one created or the old one will sit in the top. Just a second. Just view all the concepts which we discussed. Just I'll be back in one minute. Ten seconds only.
now we have template and corresponding page rendering component everything now we can create our application structure the first application I'm creating in a website my training training application I created title and name is name you should not separate in the name you should not separate the roads my training application the template is my training application the template name is my training application description hope you able to see this is my first template don't select the other templates even though they are available just um, uh, select your specific template just select create successfully we created our template sorry our page right click open and see the output of your template will I get any output in my page I have closed will I get any output in my page means any text or any description in my page in my training sorry my training application dot html will I get any output this is what the question I am asking just ping your answers that's it not a problem whichever your answer is accepted because you are new right just expect, expressing your answer is great Okay. Any other? Grace or Nicandro, uh, Shafikul. Mm, okay. And, and any more answers? No, the, I'm telling that in my training application dot html page here I opened the page but I don't want to show you I am expecting the answer from you people this page contains what output means what text any text or no text or nothing or empty or something it will contain empty it is empty page I don't want to waste much time this is empty because our script file see your page is getting executed based on here come back sorry come back to here this page uh, this uh, diagram this is our page our page is what here training sorry what is our page name This is our page name. My training home.html. And what is our template? Assume that this is the name name may be different a little bit but what is our component component is my training application page or something this is the structure I access it this page this page is pointing to this page is pointing to at the time of execution this page is pointing to this template this template which in turn is pointing to this component 
this component is having one script file. As we discussed, this script file will get executed. This component, this component is having this script file. This component is having the script file with this name. So finally, to render the output to the user, that is to the browser, this is how the flow happens. Correct? So when you try to access this page from the browser, that is mytrainingapplication.html, this page is pointing to my training template. This template does not have anything. See, this template is empty, right? Yes, simply this is pointing to sling column resource type. We'll explain what is sling column resource type later. This is simply pointing to this page rendering component. This page rendering component is slash page slash my training page.html. This is the component. And this component is containing this script. This my training application page component is containing one script file. That is my training application page.jsp. This JSP is get executed and the output of this JSP will render back to user. This JSP is having what? It is having anything? Nothing it is having, right? Any script? These all are the system scripts. This inclusion and page session, all this. Now I will play some script that is hello. Hello. Welcome to Adobe CQ 5.6.1 and save it. I have placed some text in my page. Now refresh your page. You got the output that is which we provided inside a JSP. I want to place means I want to decorate this text with a HTML. That is, I want to place this text inside a center. Yes, you can place center. This is in center. I want to make this as a little bit bigger. So place the text under in between h1 tags. Hope you are aware a little bit about HTML. Just refresh it now. On each refresh, what is happening? This flow is happening in the back end. You got the guys? How oh, is happening? Yes. This is all is unnecessary script. This is not useful, which is generated by CQ. So I'm removing all those. Just remove this. This is the useful code. I saved it. Just refresh it. You will get the same output. No change in the output. Because we have not added anything in a... Now, I want to include a parsis. The new term, I will be introducing that parsis. Parses. What is parses? Parses is a system. What is this paragraph system? 
it is component and available as over TB means out of the box means inbuilt component from C cube. Also we call this as a we call this as a container component means which holds other component. So I am including this parses component in CQ. And another feature I am introducing here of CQ. We include component another component another component example same like JSP files which we include in JSP you might aware that we include the JSP files of one file into another file. The same like we can include one component into another component based on our requirement. Our component is here. My training homepage dot JSP is our component. I am I would like to include a parses component which is available as an out of the box component into my component. To include any component in CQ, you have to use CQ colon include tag. Remember, we have to use CQ colon include tag to include any component in CQ. This has two parameters that is one path equals to I'll explain what is this path later. Remember, remind me that what is this path, I'll explain. Path is a variable, simply. One property, this CQ column include takes as path. And another one is, another property is resource, resource type. Resource type. The parses component is sitting under the libs. I said libs contains all the default functionalities which are provided from the CQ. Libs slash foundation slash component slash parses. This is what the parses. This is what the component. When I include this component in your page, in your component, you will get parses. What is parses? Just simply, I already have shown you parses. Parses is nothing but a container which you find in pages. Let me open a page to show you guys. This is our test page I created today under Geomatics. See here you got this container, right? Drag components are assets here. This is what is a parsis, which is a container component which can hold the other components. Why I got the parsis in this page? Because while developing this geometries content page template, the developer might have included the parses in their template. That's the reason they're getting parses. 
as a developer you should include the passes in your component this is your component so to get the passes include passes in your component save it and refresh your page let's see whether you're getting passes or not you got some script exception what is the script exception you have to analyze that to understand it let's see what is the error resource type is invalid the spelling mistake you or see right resource type the tag has thrown the CQ tag has thrown the error invalid resource type the attribute resource type is invalid for the tag include according to TLD tag library descriptor if you are aware little bit about JSTL development that is Java uh, JSP tag libraries so their TLD files will be there tag library descriptors just resource type I changed it save it now refresh it still no parses why so and right side there is no sidekick here we should get sidekick right but no sidekick yet right sir because you have to include one script file that is init.jsp that init.jsp is nothing but it contains the initialization script of sidekick which initializes the sidekick you don't need to write any of your custom scripts to load init.jsp sorry to load sidekick just include init.jsp which is available under the libs directly into your component automatically the sidekick will be loaded into your page when you include the script libs that init.jsp is available under libs under libs uh, wcm under WCM that is web content management under WCM core under core components under components in it under in it in it dot JSP this is the path where you get the installation script. I hope this is the path. Let me cross check from other applications. Yes, the core components in it JSP. Yes, that will be the path. Where it is? Where is the path of that? Uh, go to libs WCM core components in it in it of JSP. Get this path, copy and include in your component. How you will include? With a include tag which is available in JSP. include file paste it and save it 
will refresh your page. See, you got parses and sidekick in the right side. If you observe the sidekick, it is empty, it is white, it does not have anything. Here, why it is so? I will write the points, remember, or else note it down. Because I will ask anyway. By default, sidekick is empty. in your components. To populate components inside Kit, Go to this is very important. I'll explain what these modes go to add. I'm taking very much risk even I'm writing in session. I'll ask all these things in next sessions. How you will include components into sidekick all these things. Just remember by default sidekick is empty as you are able to see here. Then how you will get components populated to it. When you include first time into your components automatically means by default it is empty. To get the components into your sidekick go to design mode and add components as you required. That's how you have to do. What are the modes are available? Here if you observe, this is edit mode. If you observe here, edit mode, preview mode, design mode, scaffolding, websites, refresh means reload the page, current page. This is website mode, scaffolding. We use scaffolding feature in CQ. That I'll explain later what is scaffolding. I don't want to disturb you from this current topic. Design mode. So you have to go to design mode. Currently we are in edit mode. Now switch to design mode in sidekick. Select it. Now you are in design mode. You're able to see design of par. Click on edit. You got a dialog with few things populated. See allowed components. See, no components group is checked or allowed to add into our page. See, this group I want to allow means this general group is contained. At the time of creating component, I used my training application as a group. If you remember, that group appears here. These are all the groups. General adaptive, some columns, blah, 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 lot of, and here if you observe, training project. This is not our current project. 
group. I'll say uh, I'll explain in tomorrow session or else in next session why our training my training application group is not visible here. I'll explain later. Today I want to include all the components under general group. So I uh, I can't include one by one. Just simply include the group. That's it. And click OK. All of your components will be looked. All those items. Yes, when you refresh, any newly component is created that will be added to the side gig. If you add entire group, for example, in general group you created a new component. In general group you created a new component. And you included that group into your component. That general group. Automatically your newly created component will be visible in side gig. Now I added this group into my page. This general group means all of components which are available under general group will be visible in my page. Now still we are in design mode. To go to edit mode, go to side key, click on this drop down icon. See, automatically page will be refreshed and you will go to edit mode. This is edit mode and general group if you click on plus means if you click on expansion all the components available in general group will get in your page these all are the content components category these all belong to content component category this category This category is used to, I hope you understood, page component. What is page component? This category is used to create the pages. This category will not have dialogues most of times. This content category will have dialogues. We are working today only with page component category. Let's see in next sessions what about, about that content category. Say you got all the default components which belong to general group and which are available from CQ. <laughs> if you observe all your text image, text component, text title, title component, text image, and lot of other components which are available in CQ. Now let's say author one component from CQ. From which is available from CQ, just select whichever the component you generally we simply we select text image component. Drag that component and place it into. I hope you are able to see. Just select the component whichever you want to use amongst these components and drag it and drop it in your parses. That's it. You got an icon, right? select it, edit. You get a dialog. While I was explaining you under WCM layer, I explained you about CQ widgets, widget API. This dialog is developed in XTJS widget API. These are all the dialogs we have to develop. If you develop content component, you are the responsible for developing a dialogues with respect to that content component. I am using currently the other thing which is available from CQ. This is a text tab where you can add your custom text, advanced image properties like alternative text and title of the image, link to, description and size of the image you can customize it, styles as well if you want you can select it. Just provide some text, whichever you want. This is my first page developed 
Mm. This simple message I have given. Under the image, any image, whichever you want to place, some image, some proper image, ultimate date. See, the image size is very big. If you want, you can crop the image to small. This is what image and text which is being rendered. This is what the image component. And now you want to see the look and feel of this page in live. And you want to remove all these edit modes and blah blah blah. Just go to preview mode. This is how your page will look like with the image and text. Got? This is how we add the content components to your page. Yes? Question? You can ask the question. Target elements in the sense. I'll explain about HTML, CSS. What is target, you mean? Okay, CSS, you mean to say. And CSS properties, yes, perfect. Isn't this HTML element? The center? JSP itself contains the HTML elements. And as you said, properties, the CSS properties. The things whichever you want as CSS, you can add the class here and corresponding, for example, some test sample class you developed. The correct question you asked. The CSS and all the structure will sit under ETC. We will have all these things in the next session. Under ETC, under designs, create your specific project structure folder and there you can create your designs. For example, geometrics. Specific things you are able to see, static.css. Their files are here. Their project specific files are here. We will create our project specific files and we'll add our CSS and JS there. And when you add all the CSS and JS files in ATC, there is a scenario, but how you have to use it in CQ? So how you have to use it in your components? That we will see. There is an inclusion process. It's a separate method which we use in CQ, including the JS and CSS properties. That is a different stream. We'll see the things later. One by one, I'll introduce uh, Anikandra, don't worry. Yeah, this is how we develop a page. Before developing a page, we need to develop a template. Before a template, we need to develop a page rendering component. The page rendering component is the one where your actual script or else actual execution script files goes. The component contains the actual script files. And every flow, most of the flow, maximum at best, I try to give you as a text and explanation. Hope you understood today's session properly. The execution life cycle of a page and how to include a sidekick. What is init.jsp? What is design mode, edit mode, and preview mode? Hope you understood. Any more doubts or any more questions? Little bit today is prolonged, the session is prolonged because we can. Uh, guys, do you want a session tomorrow?
Yes. Others? It's your view. Oh, it would be great. Uh, we can stay you want a session that is appreciable. That is your interest, but uh, yeah, at least we have one hour. Yeah, very soon we can complete the sessions in 15 days only. If we run the sessions like this, we'll complete in 15 days. When practical things starts, session will end very soon. Theory only will take much time. It eats the minds. Practical means directly I can show practical. You'll get the result. That's it. Yeah, in tomorrow's session, Mm, it won't be much, max uh, 50 minutes, I'll take like that. In tomorrow's session, before coming, please install the CQ and read through all the concepts which we discussed while installing the CQ and uh, create the application structure, template, page rendering component, and page, website structure, everything. I'll ask everything in tomorrow's session. Most of tomorrow's session will be question answer based session. Not like regular session. I'll repeat the previous sessions. Okay? Okay, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Any questions? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.